This video will walk you through how to enter your community service hours in Givefinity. So when you open the app, um, you'll see your current hours completed, the hours remaining, as well as your active goals. You should have your current year community service goal assigned here. If it isn't assigned yet, just let Mrs. Winkard know and she'll make sure that happens um, for you. Um, and then if you're in National Honor Society, you'll see those goals listed as well. To add um, an activity or an event um, service hours, go ahead and click on the plus sign down at the bottom of the screen. And that will take us to um, the Create Activity screen. And here you're going to enter the activity name. For this example, we're using our community building project um, with the Linus blankets. So you can um, fill in activity name, uh, Linus blanket and card. And then for the organization name, you can do project Linus um, for that. And then the next field, the activity category is optional. You don't have to include that, but if you want to kind of keep track of the types of community service you do, you can do that. I'm going to pick children for this one. Same with interests. Um, in skills, this is optional. You can select it or not if you want to keep track of the kinds of community service you do. Um, but again, that's optional. The next field, activity goal, is not optional. You need to select the goal. Um, a lot of times it'll just be the one, but if you have NHS as well, you'll have to pick which one of those goals you're working toward. Activity location is optional, so we'll skip that. But you need to put in your activity description. So for this one, I'm putting in uh, worked on a blanket and created a card. Um, again, this is just your description of the activity that you did. So if you're tutoring, what subject, who you were tutoring, if you were raking leaves, or just whatever that service was that you were doing um, for this time. So you're going to enter that there under activity description. The next field is the activity date. I'm going to pick October 31st because that's the day we're finishing the um, Linus project blankets um, and for time the total time between the two days is about a half an hour so I'm just going to combine them together um, and say that our start time is 11.05 a.m. and the um, the end time I'm going to set as 11.35 so a total of a half hour of community service time working on the Linus project blankets and cards. So we'll go ahead and enter that and confirm it. And we'll scroll down then and enter the supervisor's name. So in this case, it'd be your community building teacher. Um, but um, if you're you know, working at a thrift store, it'd be whoever's supervising you there. Or if you're at a camp or at church, whoever that supervisor is, you'll put their name in that blank. You don't need to add your supervisor's phone number or email address but you do need to check the signature required box. That will allow your supervisor to sign off after you create the event. Um, so the next thing you do is just click the Create Event button. And then back on the screen, you can see that event that you created and the, that signature is needed. So if you tap Check In, that will take you to the next screen. You see the activity under Track Activities and select Complete. Um, and then that will take you to this screen where you see all the event details, activity details. Scroll down and select Sign Now. And your supervisor um, can sign right there on your phone. Sign on the screen and click Approve. And then they'll just scroll down and tap Complete Activity. The next screen is a survey. You don't need to complete it. You can just click the X in the upper left corner. And this will take you back to the Track Activities screen where you can see the activity that you just entered, the um, number of minutes, and your supervisor's signature. All of this information will be visible to Grace on our dashboard when we look at your community service. From here, you can go back to the profile screen by clicking on the little person icon. Um, here you'll notice that it's still showing zero hours completed and 20 remaining. Um, that's because uh, Gifinity shows um, full hours, not partial hours. However, if you look beneath under active goals, you'll see that a little bit of um, time is complete there. Um, and that is the 30 minutes that we just entered today. 
When you have more service hours to submit, you can just click on the plus sign and go through that process again.